Alabama team as a whole on their debut. You hear me? You know, recap reaction to the game. First thing, <laughs> uh, Kalen DeBoer is who he is. Kalen DeBoer is an offensive mastermind. <laughs> He's going to have to do more against against higher level competition. He's going to have to think more, draw up better plays, dog. But at the end of the day, great performance, great way to start the season. Not only that, shout out to the defense pitching a shutout. <laughs> Once again, let me repeat, shout out to the defense pitching a shutout, dog. <laughs> Heavy, hands down, man down. You hear me? No cap. It, 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 it's tough to pitch a shutout on any level. You hear me? I don't care who you're going against, dog. <laughs> Pitching a shutout is not easy, so shout out to the defense. But let's start with the offense. <laughs> High-powered offense, Jalen Milrow. <laughs> he will do Jalen Milrow things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would like to still see him be more settled in the pocket, even though he was very settled at times. I like the way he stood in there, even under pressure. You, you dig me, but I want to see him more comfortable, more comfortable in the pocket, you know, moving forward. And I know that that comes with time. First game, nervousness, jitter, jitters, et cetera, dog. You know, first game, a little rust will be there no matter who you playing. But I like the way the Vikings bounced back and attacked and dominated. No one shocked. No one thought it would go any other way. I'm sure too, too many people didn't expect a shutout, but domination is what was expected, huh? You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the offense. I ain't going to say shout out to the offense, but they put up a lot of points, but they need to clean it up. They're going to have to clean it up against upper echelon opponents, period. Huh? You know, I'm impressed with their receiver core. I'm impressed with law. I'm impressed with the young rookie, Ryan Williams. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying rookie like it's NFL. The young freshman, Ryan Williams, he's going to be a star, superstar in the making. Potential upside out of there. Sky's the limit. Matter of fact, it's no limit. The Bama's got Bama got weapons, dog, but they're going to have to do more. They're going to have to continue to do more, dog, starting with the O-line. <laughs> Caden Proctor went out. I don't know what's up with him. Shoulder injury, <laughs> arm injury, whatever the case may be. Hopefully it's nothing serious, <laughs> and he will return quickly and swiftly ASAP, dog. You hear me? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I need more from the offensive line. It was too much pressure by them Western Kentucky bums. <laughs> you hear me? I don't care what nobody talking about, my dog. <laughs> it was too much pressure by them Western Kentucky bums. They started off too slow, in my opinion, to them bums. Now, of course, they picked it up, amped it up, turned it up, beat their ass. We know what it is, dog. But I want to see things move more smoother. I want to see better pass protection early in the game. I want to see more of a run game, period. You go against the Georgias, the uh, Ole Miss, the who who, who else Bama play? The, the Wisconsin's physical teams up front, Wisconsin, Big Ten team, very physical, you hear me? You better bring your A game and you better come strapped up and strapped in ready to fucking block. Starting with everybody up front, both sides of the ball, offensive line and defensive line. They could be the weak point. They could be the weak point of the team this year, dog. To the defensive corn coordinator, Bobby Walmack. <laughs> I need you to get out of that three, that, that, that three defensive lineman scheme sometimes. I need you to switch it up, big dog. <laughs> Heavy. That three-man front, especially when you're getting no pressure, it's not going to work, dog. <laughs> Western Kentucky had a series where they drove straight down the field. Straight down the fucking field. It's not going to work. Inexcusable, dog. So I need Bobby Walmack, Walmack to learn from this, from to learn from his mistakes, huh? Learn from this game. Elevate his coaching, dog. Period. Ain't no way Western Kentucky should should have shit. I don't care if it's one half a drive. They just marching down the down the damn field, dog. Cap kill that noise. You hear me? So that's my take, bro. I question both sides of the ball in the trenches. Both sides of the ball in the trenches. Now don't get me wrong, it was physicality shown. Period. They got to the quarterback at times, but I need more production from both sides on the ball. Period, dog. And we know playoff time, et cetera, et cetera. That's where the games are won on every level, my boy, dog. College football, NFL football. You want to talk about high school, middle school, the trenches, the trenches, homeboy, <laughs> period. No cap, man. So Bama look great, look very good. Way to start the season. Pitch a shutout. You know what I'm saying? You don't, I mean, what more could you ask for? But they need to clean some things up. But that's part of the game, part of the process, part of the territory, dog. And it starts with the coaching staff, huh? Kalen DeBoer, Bobby Wall, Mack, and the list goes on. Everybody got to step up, man. You know what I'm saying? The time is now. Put the work in. Put the effort in. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I need more from the old line. I need more physicality. I need more dominance. I need better run blocking, pass protection. 
from Jalen Milrow, as far as Jalen Milrow, I need for him, like I said, to get better in that pocket still. He has a lot to work on. He wants to be an NFL quarterback. He held on a ball a little too long, certain a, a, a couple drives. <clears throat> but once again, improvements will be made. But overall, Jalen Milrow looked good, <laughs> getting out the pocket, using his feet. But I will say this, Bama can't just rely on Jalen Milrow using his feet huh, to win games, period. <laughs> Especially we talking about better football teams, homie. You can't just sit back and say, hey, Jalen Milrow, run the ball, take off. <laughs> no, he can do that. He can improvise. But you need more, dog. You need a run game, efficient pass game, schemes, everything. You know what I'm saying? But Jalen Milrow looked good tonight, especially on the feet, on the run. No cap. But he has things to work on, has things to improve. The whole team does, dog. You know? But Ryan Williams, he's a weapon. He's a superstar in the making. No cap. Law looked good tonight. Uh, Prentice flashed at times. Need better blocking downfield from the receivers as well. Stop the dumb penalties. Miscommunication. They need it, it should be better communication at this point in time. But like I say, first year of the regime, first game, things are expected. Mistakes will happen. It's football, dog. It won't be a perfect game, but it should be a damn near perfect one, dog. And some mistakes shouldn't happen, homie. Some mistakes shouldn't happen, and you can't afford for them to happen if Bama wants to get to that natty. To that playoff, make a deep run, dog. Clean it up, clean it up. You hear me? I want to. I don't care about first game. Clean this shit up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Great dominance, but clean it up. It's things, improvements to make, and it starts with Kalen DeBoer and his staff. No doubt, dog. But I feel real good about this offense. These weapons, like I said previously, uh, not overly big receivers, but fast receivers, speedy receivers who can stretch the damn field, <laughs> and that's what you need, dog. Period. Yeah, period. <laughs> Defensive side of the ball, I love how the defense look. You put your you pitch a shutout, you look good. Besides that one drive where Western Kentucky marched down the field, the defense looked damn good. <laughs> damn good, dog. I love the speed. I love the physicality. <laughs> Freshmen's all over the field. They also got experience on the field. You know what I'm saying? Linebackers like Lawson, Malachi Moore. So it's experience, but it's a lot of freshmen. A lot of freshmen, dog. The secondary, I like the secondary, homie. You got freshmen on the field. Junior, seniors on the field. It's a nice mix. It looked fast. It looked like they're flying around, dog. Improvements to be made, though. Improvements to be made, made though. No cap. Linebacker core. I like the linebacker core. They fly around. They get to their quarterback. They get to the ball. Laser speed. This defense will be built off speed heavy, and I like it. I love it. I'm here for it. But this defense has a lot of speed. Not the biggest defense you've seen at Bama in history, but you see speed, dog. Speed on the field. And guess what? You can't coach speed and speed kills. Huh? And schemed up correctly, put in the right positions, starting with Bob, Bobby, uh, Bobby Wall, Matt. It starts with him, dog. Put your players in the best position. It starts with adjustments at halftime. You hear me? <laughs> that three down lineman is cool if it's working, but it's going to come times and situations where that shit ain't working, dog. <laughs> and you need to pressure on that quarterback and you need to stop the run, dog. You ain't going to play Georgia and sit your ass back in no fucking three down lineman when they running the ball up and down the field. <laughs> Ole Miss either. You hear me? So it's going to be some adaptation that needs to be made, dog, by Bobby Wall, man. Love the defense, but it needs improvements too, dog. Starting with them trenches, dog. Period, dog. Hands down, man down. But the secondary, I love the secondary linebacker core, safeties. Motherfucking Sab, Keon Sab. That boy's a player. That boy's an NFL prospect. <laughs> Shout out Michigan. Appreciate you, Michigan. <laughs> but fuck y'all at the end of the day. Roll Tide full of pride. We're after the game. Respect. You know what it is. <laughs> Be a Shout out Keon Sab, dog. Two interceptions should have been three. I'm confident in the secondary. I'm not as confident in the trenches. Linebacker core, I'm confident in. But it's going to come down to how the trenches play week in, week out. No cap, man. Period, huh? But overall, great game, great season opener, a uh, great way for Kalen DeBoer to start the season, and they got to keep it going. Dog. They got a, another easy game, I think, next week, but then they go to Wisconsin, and they're going to have to buckle down. You hear me? Big 10, them boys is big, big up front. They run the ball. They physical. Bama got to get ready. Dog. Yeah, that's my observations. That's my reaction. Week one, brand new season. Football is back. Roll tide full of pride. Let me know how you feel about the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell. You hear me? <laughs> Big skull hit, man.